Good morning from a very sunny Milton Keynes here. I'm out walking the dog before we get in the practice room. I've just thought and finalised what I think my goals are going to be for 2024 in the world of darts. I thought I'd get the camera out, start this vlog right now as I'm out with Lola here and uh, have a think about what we want to achieve next year. As we get into this video, thank you everyone that commented on my previous video looking back at, at 2023. To begin with, I'm definitely going to be getting more involved. One of my goals is about community, keeping that enjoyment levels really high in 2024. Um, I don't know if I could commit to a club team every week, but we're exploring it. Stony Stratford, Bletchley, Leighton Buzzard, there's some really good leagues. Fortunately, the ADC have opened a new vault near me in Barton Clay, which we're definitely going to be um, considering. And I just hope for the first sort of three, six months, we just don't get smashed too much. Uh, and, and lose at darts, of course. Um, yeah, main goals. So yeah, looking forward to doing that. Before we properly get into this video, I was talking to friends and family this Christmas and they were asking me why did I do it? Well, and why am I doing it? Well, something re really for men here is, as I said previously, I've, I've played loads of golf. I'm like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rounds competitively. And I really struggle to remember it. Like I really struggle remembering quite a lot of the rounds I played, the competitions. I remember some scores. I remember some, some rounds, mainly playing with my dad as a kid after school. But some of those competitive rounds, I, I don't really remember all that much which I think is quite scary and actually you know in my family uh, dementia is just it's it's rife like you know it's something that I know you know members of my family have got old and, and really struff, suffered with so no I was thinking about you know the why behind this vlog and actually you know I know I, I talked about it, it's for you guys it's about community listen you've got people like like dynamite darts who, who have built these amazing communities from vlogging and giving you behind the scenes of playing darts and trying to get better I don't think I can replicate that but what I do, and, and actually I'm going to link his here because if you don't follow him you should. I actually want to do this a little bit for me really just as a as a vlog and a, and a way to keep those memories as we meet loads of you know awesome people over the next few years, travel a bit playing some darts, playing in some competitions so yeah it's it's for you this content uh, but it's also for me and I, I don't know maybe if there's other other blokes listening to this I don't know if you feel the same about certain sort of like sport that you've played certainly as a kid or, or in your younger years because yeah really struggle to remember it so yeah this vlog's for me as well so Moving on, I need to get this dog walked. Mrs. Tizard's still in bed, so I've got to bring her a cup of tea. Then we'll go ahead and get into the uh, get into the shed, do some practice, talk about our goals for 2024. Let's get on with it. Well, here we are in what is the uh, to be studio. Definitely, currently, just a shed with a dartboard. Finally, up here that we've been practicing from. And long-term goal for this place, as I said, is to have complete studio-type feel. So have this all built out and around. We can do some really high-level recording. A little bit of retail over here as well. Some really nice, smart posters. Maybe some sponsorship one day. Who knows? You know, maybe a bit of a dream. But we're in here. We're practicing. And I've actually just been working on the game for 52 which I'll be posting later this month with a few practice routines that have been helping me. While I was out on my walk, I was thinking about three particular goals that I want to achieve. The first one is all about community. So I really want to be embedded by the end of next year in the darting community, uh, locally and a bit more sort of virtually as well, getting to know a lot of the community and subscribers here. So I've got a goal to have played at least 100 of you by the end of the year, either in person or on NACA. Because to be honest, we're here just to enjoy it. We're here to play some darts, throw against the, throw some metal against this wall here, meet some people, have a good time and enjoy that kind of what I would call positive escapism from the day to day. Number two is all about inputs. In the description here, I've actually got a very simple spreadsheet that I've created. Now, I know I can't really control whether I go on to win a tournament next year, whether I end up in division 10 or above on the GDL, whether my three dot average becomes 60, 70, 80, 90. But what I can control is the inputs. So I'm gonna start with the first sort of three months of the year with a real goal to dedicate five hours a week to to purposeful practice again like what I talked about in the previous episode I've broken it down into a couple of segments so um, scoring which is definitely my weakness doubles and working on finishing so those three segments so I can just start to track how much time I'm spending on each and um, whether you know there's certain areas where I need to improve so at the moment scoring is, is so poor 
I mean, look at some of these examples here. My three dot averages are up at 50, 60, but my first nine is at 45. That's like, terrible. Like, I need to get that scoring power up. And finally, my third goal is just by the end of the year, I want to look back and just feel really comfortable playing on different boards, in different environments, people watching, in the pubs, in some of the clubs, football clubs, wherever these tournaments are held, and just be super confident going out there and playing live darts. And I'm actually eyeing up a tournament on 20th January uh, down Kentway, which I'm hoping to bring to you as my first live vlog from a competition the exciting thing is i get to you know pick up my phone do a little bit of recording as well and bring you those updates some scoring some uh, live vlogs from competitions so you can see how we get on and also you can just see what it's like to be in that kind of environment if that's something that you're thinking about doing next year so, so they're my three um, but i'd love to hear what your goals are and what i'm going to do is at the end of each quarter or even at the halfway mark of the year i'm going to pick up some of your goals i'm going to tag you and we're going to have a little check-in and see in the in that vlog in that episode how we're getting on against those targets. Yeah, let us know what you want to you know, go and achieve next year in darts. It can be fun, it can be social, it can be a three dart average, win a competition, get involved a bit more, whatever that may be. Comment below, we'll pick them up quarterly and we'll start to review how we're getting on against them with, with some of you each time. Thank you again for all your amazing support. Thank you for all those that have subscribed so quickly over the Christmas period. I look forward to seeing what your goals and aspirations are for the year and wish you all the best of luck with them and for a healthy and happy 2024. Hey, listen, I'll leave you with uh, a, bit, a few clips from my trip to the Alley Pally this year. And I'll see you in a few weeks time with my first competition, live vlogging. And uh, yeah, just hope it goes well. See you then.